Hey everyone, and welcome back. So let's play Warland 2, uh, final chapter, story 2, Storm the Castle. So now we got this kind of weird music playing. Not that it's bad, but it's it's weird. I forgot to mention this yesterday, but um, yeah, I went back to the old format of the win uh, the videos. Most everyone said that they didn't really, uh, didn't really notice a difference and it really didn't matter. And uh, um, a lot said, oh, I like the bigger window better. Um, and I had already recorded this, uh, before, um, I asked that question, so, I just said, okay, you know what, I'll just continue doing this. I'll just continue the big window. Um, so we have a new enemy. Well, technically it's not new, because, again, I mentioned they were in the, uh, the basement area of, uh, the city. But, um, Mallet Ape. M, uh, obviously their name is derived from, they're an ape, and they have a mallet. Uh, they make you... Spring Wario, who has awesome music. Um, so, downsides of Spring Wario. You can't stop jumping. You keep jumping until it runs out. So that's the cure is to just let time run out. Um, upside is it lets you reach areas that you couldn't reach before because you can jump high. Again, sometimes you don't want to do that, though. It's kind of similar to um, Puffy Wario in that sense, except for the fact that you have a little bit more control. And I got a uh, silver coin if you couldn't tell by the noise, or I mean the music that played. But yeah, Mallet Apes, um, they're not, they, they appear, but not a ton of times. Like, they appear once in a while. They're, it's definitely, I think, I'd say f f uh, Fire Whirl is the most plentiful ability. It's the one that appears the most. But Spring Wario? Or no, it's a Spring Wario, it's Bouncy Wario. Yeah, whatever. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It kind of looks like he's in like a jail uniform, but it's obviously he's supposed to be a spring. And prison Break Wario. Okay, into the door, and a new ability in the sa in the same chapter. A new ability. This one only appear or first appears here. I'm pretty sure if you're playing the main uh, part game. Uh, Tiny Wario. Uh, Tiny Wario also has good music. Um, you may notice uh, if you played Wario where Smooth Moves or watched my LP. It wasn't um. Uh, if you watch that, uh, Tiny Wario is appears in there as well, but Tiny Wario is just Wario, but smaller. Um, advantages of Tiny Wario, he can jump higher. He can jump much higher. Uh, he cannot float through the air or climb out of trees, though, but he can jump higher. Uh, well, Tiny can't jump, Tiny can't jump higher anyway, uh, in DK64. But anyway, um, Tiny Wario can jump higher, he can, uh, run flat faster, probably. He can't shoulder barge, though. And if he gets uh, hit by water, he'll turn back to his original self. Or hit by an enemy, for that matter. Um, but he is useful in getting through small cracks. That's the other thing. He can jump high and he can fit through small cracks. Ah, see right here, I was messing up. You don't want to jump in the water. But uh, that enemy who turned you into Tiny Wario is Wizard Goom. If you bump into a Wizard Goom, they turn into just two uh, spear uh, men. So you don't want to do that, because you possibly may want to, uh, leave them for later. Um, so yeah, we have to go through here. You can't go through doors, either. In fact, I don't think any of the, uh, forms can go through doors. So that's just big given. And, um, skullcopters, and look, we got, uh, the furniture thing back from the first chapter. We're gonna be using that to cross. Yeah, watch out for that skullcopter, you don't want to get hit. a ton of coins, and you definitely want coins are definitely worth it. Technically, though, if, um, because most chapters have enemies regenerating, right, and any enemy you destroy usually gives you one coin, and sometimes they'll give you a silver coin. Uh, technically, you could technically get, uh, infinite amount of coins, or as many coins as you want, by just going in a room, killing all the enemies, going out of a room, going in, if you wanted to. I doubt anyone wants to do that, but you could do that. And look, it's Caker. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Uh, right there. Right here. Uh, right, yep. Uh, I can't point at the screen. Like, I could point at the screen, but it's not gonna do anything for you guys. I am pretty good at this, I will say. I'm, I'm tooting my own horn, though. Oh, look, it's the magic cape, or... It's, it's Link's, uh, grandmother... Link's grandmother's, um... Outfit. I think it's just called... I think it's called the Green Mantle. But... I like calling Link... I like saying Link's grandmother's outfit. Because it looks like something a Link's grandmother would wear. 
Or, or maybe one of the guys from Fire Emblem, like Urk. It's Urk's outfit or something. He needs a hood, though, as well. Okay, watch that skull copter's a little bit of a nuisance. So beware of it. Um. So, uh. What else do I want to mention? Um. Well, uh. Someone wanted to ta uh, know about some other YouTube uh, stuff I, I watch on YouTube. Uh, obviously, I watch a majority of my friends' videos, which are all great. I advise you all to check them out. I just go my subscriptions. But, um, other things I do watch, uh. I watch, um. A radio show on YouTube called The Young Turks. I watch some of those. Uh, it's if if it's very liberal though. So if you're not into uh, if you're not liberal, if you're not into that, I you probably wouldn't like it. But I am quite a bit liberal, and I do enjoy watching those videos. Some of them are really not great, but he makes good points. Um, but yeah, that's political stuff. If you're not into political stuff, you wouldn't like that either, for that matter. Um, and yeah, those enemies over there that I just the ones that look like pelicans. They're called pelicans. So, that's one of the things where they just name them exactly as they are. Uh, but I watch that. I watch, um, uh, College Humor. I definitely watch College Humor. And Jake, uh, Jake and Amir is hilarious. Um, other things on YouTube. Um, well, I, I watch, uh, Deceased Crab occasionally. He doesn't have a ton of stuff off. But he's good. Um, I wouldn't be my favorite up here, but he is good. Uh, and then Dark Knight Sith, Griffin Lobster, um, Owen Speck, all those guys. Uh, who else do I watch? Uh, oh, uh, Team Four Star. Though they have their channel deleted, but uh, their Dragon Ball Z Bridge I watch, and I also watch uh, Aquaman Time. Uh, or no, right now it's Majora's Massive Bridge by uh, Adam West Lapdog, Lapdog. But like, if you want to check all my subscriptions, that's basically all I wa uh, all the videos I watch for the most part. Um, and we have a new uh, ability here. Uh, I believe it's called Freezy Wario or Frozen Wario or Ice Wario or Iced Wario or Ice Ice Wario. I don't know. Um, anyway, here's what Ice Wario does. Nothing of good. You don't want to become Ice Warrior. He's, I think, the only ability in this game that is has no benefit. There could be another one, but for the most part, it's the main one that has no benefit at all. Like I should say, Ball, uh, ball Warrior from uh, the Ball Bunny episode or the Ball Bunny battle, but um, definitely Ice Warrior because what happens is those little snowmen they will turn you uh, into ice if you get hit by their snowflakes and you will slide, as you can see, and you won't stop until you run into something. So you don't want to become Ice Warrior. No benefits. Don't do not do it. It's it's bad. No, don't do ice. Oh, damn it, window panes. I hate window panes. And I said that they throw vodka. Technically, if they were throwing vodka, they would make you drunk, Warrior, or crazy Warrior. So I'm going to say they're throwing um, ketchup bottles now. Ketchup bottles uh, that they drink. They drink ketchup. Because, you know, people drink ketchup all the time. Come on, Wario, frickin' get up there. So, yeah, um... In this chapter, it does have a lot of coins, like... Uh... Like, some of the early chapters, you got a lot of coins, then you didn't get as many per uh, chapter for the most part. I don't think there was, the, you know, less coins overall. But this one, you get a ton of coins. And I don't mean just, like, secret hidden rooms. I mean, like, just scattered everywhere. 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 And yeah, you definitely want to do that so that you don't have to deal with those, uh, uh, damn, I don't even know what those guys are called. Um, probably, uh, something with ice in their name. Snowman, I don't know. But let's, well, I can't finish the chapter yet, I have to get the hidden, uh, treasure room. Wait, no, I got, I got, that was the, the Link's grandmother's outfit. So let's just finish the chapter, I don't feel like dealing with these snowmen. Or kill them, that works too. There you go, Wario. Wario Smash! And yeah, if you, if you want to get through here without dealing with the snowman, you, there's probably coins in that room. So you don't want to hit the switch if you want to get in that room. But I don't care. I'm just going to go and end this chapter. Here we go. And... Tons of coins. 4808. So, let's play some puzzle games. 
Now again, if you're patient, you can do this well. So let's see. Uh, it could be a seven or a one, or a few other things too. Or uh, three or eight. Three or eight or six or no nine. It could be a nine. Uh, I'm gonna say eight. It's definitely an eight. So this has been Make a Fifth Hundred, reminding you to cha cha.